Utah death row inmate Tabarone Honey is set to be killed by lethal injection this summer. It will be the state's first execution in 14 years. But his counsel is arguing the death sentence should be changed. Our Jonathan May is following this case. He has the story. Honey was convicted of aggravated murder in 1999 after sexually assaulting and killing his ex-girlfriend's mother in the presence of three of her grandchildren. He's scheduled to be executed shortly after midnight on August 8th, which would make him the eighth person in the state of Utah to be executed since 1972. But a petition filed to the Utah Board of Pardons and Parole hopes to change that. Once we have that petition on or before Friday um, of this week, we will be moving forward with the first decision point in this process, which is to decide whether or not to grant a hearing. The petition argues Honey suffered from a traumatic background, substance abuse, brain damage, and was extremely intoxicated when he murdered Claudia Ben in 1998, and that he's expressed remorse since the crime and still plays a role in the lives of his daughter and granddaughter. If the board decides there is a substantial issue, there would be a commutation hearing in July. It would likely be a multiple day event, but some of that depends on how many how much testimony, how many witnesses each side plans to bring. But if the board decides against a hearing, the execution will go on as scheduled. The last commutation hearing in Utah happened in 2010 in the case of Ronnie Lee Gardner. There was a hearing, but it didn't change the outcome and the execution proceeded. Jonathan May reporting again, should Hani's sentence be commuted, it would only change to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Now, a decision for a commutation hearing could take weeks. So, of course, we'll keep you updated both on air and online at ABC4.com.